done so much for the fans with his Make the Wish charity. You know, he's a, le a he's a legend. But as a father, what did you do to instill that kind of a humanity and an empathy in him? I have five sons. Okay. All five of my sons are champions. I raised my boys the way I was raised. I come from an Italian family. We grew up with love. We grew up with caring. And we grew up helping others, working to make sure others had what we didn't have. You know, my mother and father both worked. Uh, I'm not trying to put any anybody saying, oh, poor Mr. Cena. No, I had a great life. I really did. Um, but, you know, it was a lot different. And so I tried to instill in my boys um, that value that was instilled in me. You know, we heard a neighbor couldn't buy food. We brought them food. We heard a neighbor was in the hospital. We went to visit. Um, I, I feel very, very upset. Um, I received a, an email on Thursday. <clears throat> it was from a friend of mine for a 15-year-old boy, a children's hospital. John, obviously, you're not going to get him. So I offered to go in and bring some memorabilia and, you know, talk to the young man. I received a text on Friday that said, we don't know if that's going to happen. I got a text on Saturday morning that he was on morphine. And I got a text on Saturday night that he died. Ugh. You know, when you look at that kind of thing, anybody who's anybody that cares, if you don't reach out and you won't help, and John, my son, you know, his heart is so big. I've heard all kinds of things, you know, say what you want about him. Say what you want. All my young sons, they're all the same. And the make a wish is near and dear to his heart. And I think that's a way that we give back. It's a way to take care of these young men and women who probably won't be here. I remember doing a wrestling show in Canada, and a woman came over to the ring, uh, and she said to me, Mr. Cena, I want you to see something and it was a locket and she opened it up and she said there's a picture of your son and there's a picture of my daughter he was so kind to go out of his way to meet my daughter and she died three days after we met her so you know those are the values that i instill that's i live by those rules i don't trash people i don't try to hurt people i try to help sometimes i'm not successful like that young man um but you know if the world we just stop and look and see what's happening. We've got people who can't buy food. We have elderly people eating dog food. Appalachia, they can't afford shoes or clothes. Yet we'll send billions of dollars overseas. Cena does things to give back. He loves those children. He loves to make a wish. Uh, I remember one time when he took a shirt and his bands off his arm and gave it to a young man right there in a wheelchair. So that's what it's all about. Uh, you know, you can lead a horse to water, but you cannot make them drink. I can instill or hope to teach you the values that I grew up with, the values that I live by today. If you do it, great. If you don't, then I did the best I could. Well said, sir. Well said. John, how about the... Wow. Wow. That was that was excellent. Thank you. Uh, ah, that's, my, that's Pharaoh's favorite. That's Valentine. my all-time favorite, Greg Valentine. Let me so, tell you, he is a great, great person. Oh. Hello, Greg. The Dream Team. What would you think about the Dream Team? Ooh. <laughs> was it really a dream? Oh, no. To me, they were. <laughs> to me, they were. So let me ask you, John. The return of John Cena, yeah. Brock Lesnar, yeah. Becky Lynch, and Phil Brooks, See, which, in your opinion, was the most uh, impressive in, you know, on the return. Wow. You know. Wow. Um, I think uh, the deal with Becky, and eh, you know, um, the way she left, the way she came back, a squash in three minutes. Um, sorry. Um, you know, I'll tell you who impressed me was edge he has not lost it no the brood him and him and oh. uh rollins put on one hell of a match i thought it would be the best match of the night i agree i was in, i was so impressed by that mm -hmm. and, and adam copeland if i may use his name sure um is probably one of the best 
Um, I work with him. He's a great guy, a great professional wrestler. Um, I remember when John and he were in Canada, I was there, and they had the table stacked up. John was on the ladder, and he had edge on his shoulders for the, the FU then. Um, and I, I saw John shake his head, and you could hear Ed say now. And when Edge went, he went through those tables, was knocked out, and Edge's mother was behind me, and all, all I could hear was, oh, my God. Um, but there is a tremendous athlete. I think the return of Cena was good. I, I think it was well done. Excellent. I just think WWE should have put a swerve in there. Um, you know, the, the last night on SmackDown, uh, when, when I, I said, well, you know, there's a chance. We're going to have a 17-time world champion. And then as soon as Roman Reigns extended his hand, and this is what I mean about storylines and writers, I don't get it. He extends his hand and said, I'll tell you what, I'll do one better. If I lose, I'll leave WWE. Right. Come on, guys. Right. It's a loss. Yeah. You know what I would have done? Agree agreed. Agreed. That's what I thought. Agreed. Yeah, well, I, I, I didn't like it. Why give me, why, what's the point of watching the show? Mm. Tell me that. I, I, I don't understand. Yep. You know, I don't mind paying money, but if I can if I can come to the end before you, right? and then I was watching and I said to somebody, you know what, I'm going to put 10 bucks on the table right now, Lesnar's coming out. No way. All right. What happened after Cena took the beat down? Yeah, there it is. Yeah. See, there I think is. what should have happened was Cena should have won that. Hmm. That would have been the swerve. That would have been the swerve. It's Paul Heyman would have intervened and said, hold it. There was no contract. Nothing in writing. He doesn't leave the WWE. As a matter of fact, tomorrow night or at Madison Square Garden, there'll be a rematch. Interesting. Interesting. Let Rands have it back. I mean, I don't care what's going to happen. You know, Brock Lesnar's going to go in now. We're going to have the same old thing all over again. Mm. And people are going to complain all over again. We've got a part-time champion. Unless the deal is, who does Roman Reigns really have left to fight? He's just going to keep going through these older stars, and he's just going to beat each one? It's, it's beginning to not make sense anymore. Interesting. So